Hello, fellow miners, and welcome to another episode from Spice Mines Gaming. We are in uncut survival today, and I have updated to snapshot 19W14B. So let's go ahead and get in here. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, what was the... There was a lot of bug fixes in this snapshot. And uh, so there were some really good bug fixes. Bug fixes. <laughs> And that was pretty much the 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 whole the whole deal with uh, this update or the snapshot. But here we go. Let's get started here. The first thing I want to do, I've been thinking about this, and I do need to go ahead, get in here, and make a hopper chain down here, so that I can start cooking. Let's test this out really quick. Now, also one other thing. Here's a little secret, a dirty little secret. Actually, it's not dirty. But, I did some off-screen mining. Shock, I know. And look at that. I got nine diamonds. Over a stack of iron and some more gold. Now, I know this is uncut survival, but seriously, how many of you out there really want to watch me do as much mining as I just did to get those diamonds probably very few if any of you at all so all I did was mine I didn't do any combat I didn't do any farming I didn't do any crafting except for iron pickaxes the only pickaxes that I made and I just mined I got a ton of redstone lapis a bunch of coal so all I did and yeah <laughs> cobblestone <laughs> so yeah that's all I did I didn't do anything else here so, I also found out I still have this string. I've been holding on to that string. It was so tempting to uh, make a fishing rod out of the string and just try to maybe hopefully fish a bow out. But I want, I want, 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 want <laughs> to make a uh, crossbow. And so I think I figured out how I need to do this. I need wood planks. That was one thing that I was missing before to craft the um, tripwire hook right there. That's it. Alright, so we got that. <clears throat> now, let's see. I have string, iron, sticks. I think that's all I needed to make. And there it is. The crossbow. Okay, let's dig this thing out. Yeah, we look pretty cool. We look pretty cool. I want to try this thing out, but I lack the one key ingredient to make this thing work. I don't have any arrows. <laughs> so, that island over there may hold the key to what I need here. That's something that we might take care of in this episode as well because I want to go into the nether and I don't want to go into the nether without arrows. So I'm going to slip this back up in here. And that's just an extra there. Let's go ahead and put this there and put that there. Pretty cool. We got a crossbow. Okay, now let's get onto this hopper thing right here. This torch is kind of in the way, so let me go ahead and move this out of the way. And I'm not going to do a really big one here. I think this is about as far down as I'm going to go. There's going to be a hopper up here, a hopper right there, and a hopper right here. And the chest is going to be right here. And then I'm going to put like an upside down stair here to kind of uh, allow that, um, what do you call it? The um, My mind went blank. To allow the chest to open. There we go. And then I'll add some uh, stone around here to kind of pretty it up a little bit. So, again, I've got to go mine up my um, campfire so I can do this properly. And I'll need to take out that block right there. Oh, I'm standing on the thing here. But that's okay. It's no big deal because I have plenty of resources to craft another campfire and all that fun stuff. So let's go down here. All right, now, what I need to do is I need one, two, three hoppers. Let's go grab my 
Uh, iron is what I need, and I need chests. Do I have chests? No, I don't. Let's grab this and this, and let's craft some chests from here. And I need three chests. Let's go one, two, three. I'll use the oak. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now, whoops, I need a fourth chest. There we go. Four. Because I need one chest to collect all the stuff. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, now I need three hoppers. There they are. I was like, <laughs> where'd they go? One, two, three. Three hoppers. All right, now we got to get up here to place all this stuff. And I think I'll just do it like this. Because I really w I don't want to disturb this stone. I like that stone. Okay, so let's place... I need this here, and I need this here. Let's place that wrong way. That actually needs to be... But that's okay. No big deal. I'll turn it around later. Hold shift. Hold shift. Come on. Come on. Come on. I can't do it. Ah, okay. Let's try this a different way. <laughs> I'm not jumping high enough here, so let me just put a dirt block here. That might work. Okay. And got it. Okay, cool. Two. I forgot. Got to hold shift. Two. Three. There we go. And we're out. Now, can I do this? Throw a I don't have a chest down here. Hang on. <laughs> Forgot to put the chest in. That dirt box is not going to collect anything. Okay. Now the chest. Right there. All right. Now, let's make sure that this hopper chain is going to work. All I'm going to do is come over here. Throw that down there. And then make sure that dirt block landed right there. Okay. Okay. That is fine. Now I need to craft another uh, campfire. Let me grab one, two, three, four. No, I just needed three. Three logs. I can go ahead and put these back. I don't need those. And I needed charcoal and maybe sticks. I can't remember, but there it is. And I just used one out of coal. Oh, well. I meant to use charcoal. That's why I had it. Anyhow, let's go ahead and come in here, hold the shift key, and lace not dirt. <laughs> Take two. Hold the shift key, place that. Okay, cool. So the fire is on top of the hopper. Let's go ahead and put that back. Now, let's come down here. Not down here. I need my shears. Actually, let's go ahead and put the iron away really quick. I'm going to go get some steak, and let's try this thing out. Okay, throw that cobblestone back in there. And dirt goes in here. Okay, cool. I have an axe. Let me go grab my shears so I can get some more mushrooms. And then let's go take care of a couple of cows and just see if this thing's going to work. I hope it does. That would be so cool if this works. It's nighttime. This is when I need to be going to get skeletons. You know what? Let's do that. Let's take a break from this. This is not critical. I need to go get my sword and boat. This could be a mistake. You saw in the previous episode that... I was not very successful in combat. <laughs> but hopefully this one is different. And I'm not going to go all the way down to that taiga. I'm just going to go over here to this island. It's close. There's almost certainly going to be skeletons over here. And maybe even spiders if we're lucky. I might get some more string. And then I can craft a fishing rod and I'll go fishing. And I may do that again off-camera fishing. Fishing and mining, I think... I mean, what do you think? Fishing and mining off camera. I think that's okay. 
I mean, it, it does not. I mean, it's not like any award-winning material, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think anybody is going to scream and holler because I'm doing off-screen mining. That's usually the kind of stuff that most people don't enjoy watching as much. Fishing is cool because I mean you can uh, you can get um, what do you call it? Yeah, come here, spider. No creepers. I just want this spider. But anyhow, you can get enchanted books and enchanted bows and enchanted uh, fishing rods. Hey, cool, got some string. And so you know, fishing has its advantages, and it it is a a really neat thing to do. I mean, I really enjoy fishing in Minecraft. I know I'm not, probably not in the majority of my thoughts, but I really enjoy fishing in Minecraft. It's relaxing, and there's always that, what will this next catch bring? Knockback is really good against the creeper, because it prevents, oh, there, okay. Hey, is a cow. Remember that invisible cow that we were dealing with in the very first episode? I wonder if this is the guy. You're going to be steak. <laughs> There's a creeper down there. I do not want to tangle with him right now, especially in qu close quarters. That would not be a wise thing to do. Let's see if I can find... I don't want creepers. I want skeletons. I need arrows. That's what I want. Arrows. No, oh, come on out of here. Yeah, he saw me. I'm going to run off. Okay, any skeletons over here? I, I don't want to fight skeletons because they're just a pain at this point. A shield. Now that solves the problem. It just popped into my mind. I have enough resources to make a shield. And a shield is one of those critical things that you really need if you're going to be fighting skeletons and whatnot. So, speaking of skeletons, let's go see if we can take care of these guys. Hey, cool. You can see the house from here. That's really neat. Oh, there's a an ocean monument right there. Huh. Cool. Okay, where... Weren't those skeletons just right there? Did they walk off? Yeah, they did. Okay. I gotta get down here. This is not good terrain to be doing this. Come here. I want your arrows. Give me arrows. In a bow, if you don't mind. I'll take the bow. You nothing? There they are. Oh, well, bones. He didn't drop any arrows. I guess he's not obligated to, unless those are them right there. Huh. Well. Oh, that's a creeper in there. I don't want to mess with the creeper. The skeleton, I don't mind as much. Ooh. Barely missed. Let me eat. Okay, sneak around. Oh, fell in the water. There we go. <laughs> you going for a swim? Okay, there we go. I got two arrows. Yay. What if the, this island should be big enough for the for new skeletons to spawn? Okay, there we go. Well, let's go find out. So, yeah, I just wanted to spend some time in this episode to try to gather as many arrows as, like, more creepers. I don't want creepers. I want skeletons. Like that guy right there. There you go. Four arrows. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Nowhere near enough, that's for sure. Skeleton. Let's go get him. You missed. And I can't find you. There you are. Hey, I got some more arrows. And I need to eat. Desperately. Alright. 
anybody else. There's a dolphin. Those are cool creatures. There's another skeleton over here. Two of them. Cool. But before I go take on these guys, because I'm just going to have to try to lure one. Okay, there we go. He's at the ready. He's He's got his arrow knocked back. He's ready to go. Got the, whoa! They're not in good position here. And there's a spider. Okay, well... Hmm. I could use another... Hey, that guy's a sharpshooter here. Okay, this is not good. Run! Run! Not duck! I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. <laughs> you gotta hit the right buttons. Okay, let's see. What's that? That's a creeper. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy if a creeper could get Dolphin's Grace? That would be the most fearsome creature in all the world. Gotta watch out for that creeper. All right, and that skeleton just disappear. Are you hearing this? Okay. Is that a bug? That is crazy sounding. It sounds like like a hundred skeletons all shooting rapidly. And I don't see that skeleton. Let's hop in here and see what happens. This is weird. That is interesting. You know, whenever uh, you come across something weird, let's see. I'm going to step away from the green for a second. You're supposed to give feedback. Oh. Report bugs? Oh, you got to open it in the browser. Never mind. Well, that's where you get to report bugs, and this is clearly a bug. I might have to do that after the episode. We'll see, because that is definitely something. Did I get two pieces of string? No, I didn't. Oh, that other skeleton killed that spider. Okay, let's just go on. Let's go back to... Oh, my boat. <laughs> I was just going to jump in the water and swim away. All right. That's just crazy. Okay. Well, I got it recorded. So if they need evidence, there you have it. I have it recorded. And another thing I want to do really quick is grab as much of this sugar cane as possible. That way. I'm going to leave the boat here. That way, the next night, I can head that way. I know I need to uh, let this stuff grow, but... I'm impatient right now. I want to hurry up and make this enchantment set up. And there's enough of it here that it's it's going to make a difference. Okay, do I have any non-multiples of three here? Or a non-multiple of three? 26. So I need one more. Or okay, let's, let's take, uh, take away two. Right there. Okay, now I have a multiple of three. Let's go make some paper and see if I can make some more bookshelves. And then I need to finish this uh, hopper project here, which uh, is going to need some more. Drum roll, please. 
Steak. <laughs> Steak. <laughs> okay. Uh, paper. There we go. Made 24 more pieces. I'm going to go ahead and put the string here. Put the arrows here. I'm going to set these bones in here just for now. I'm not going to worry about it. And let's come over here. And then... Oh, I want to keep that because I'm going to use it here in a second. And uh, let's go ahead. Use all this leather. Let's make some books. I can make some leather armor. <laughs> That'll be really protective. Okay. Whoops. There it is. Okay, and I got some paper. Awesome. Oh, and here's a bunch of raw beef, too. So, great. That is going to be handy. So let's put this stuff up here, too. Uh, I'm going to put that in the incinerator. I love having that. Speaking of incinerator, that reminds me of something else that I want to do. I want to go get some more chickens. And the reason why I want more chickens, plural, is that I want to make a chicken farm here in this settlement. I've decided that I need chickens because I really want to use that crossbow. And to do that, I need arrows. Now, there's several ways that you can make arrow, get arrows, and skeletons are probably the best source. But I'm going to have to do a massive build to do... Or I, say, I say massive, but a pretty big build in a, um, a mob farm to be able to get the skeletons. And it looks like those stakes were picked up. Let's go check. If this is the case, this is great. It works. Yes, look at that. Those stakes were picked up. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw several in here for right now. Let's just go ahead and get some of these cooking while I'm around here working. There we go. And let's see. Yes, let's go. Well, I don't need to go get more steaks, so I'll put my shears away. And let's go dress up that little thing down there that, uh, that hopper catcher thingy. Wow, my mind is just not really on par today. <laughs> no baby chicken. Surprise, surprise. All right, throw that in there. Yeah, I really like this incinerator, chicken powered incinerator. It's so handy to just get rid of stuff with it. And it's entertaining. <laughs> Not really. Okay, now I want to get rid of some of this dirt here. Just maybe that right there. Okay, I want some andesite because I do not have smooth so stone. That's going to be up here. Andesite. And then I'm going to want... Probably stone brick stairs, or do I want to just go ahead and use polished? Here, let's try to do some something fancy here. Why not? Let's just do some fanciness here. I like fancy. And I didn't get the stairs. <laughs> I looked at them. Okay, there we go. And throw that there. There we go. Now we can open that up, and there it is. Awesome. Okay, and I don't need any more polished andesite. So I'll go ahead and put that back. And while I'm at it, let's just, uh, do I have my shovel on me? No, do I have any shovel at all? No shovel, no shovel. I guess I don't have a shovel. Let's rectify that by crafting a shovel. Oh, yeah, I did break my shovel. Okay, I remember that now. Here we go. Let's just put some of the sand site to use here really quick. All right, that should be good enough. There we go. I think that looks all right. I like I like the andesite. I don't know. We'll see. I'll leave these three here, and as I kind of come in and look at it, I'll see which one I like best. I almost would prefer the smooth stone with some polished andesite for functional things, like I would take these three out and make that polished andesite just to kind of make it all the way around there and then make the rest of this smooth stone, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyhow, that's, that's pure aesthetics, and I'm not worried about that right now. Okay, put away this put away that. I have 
some arrows. Let's go ahead and get some more steaks cooking because I want to get ready to go to the nether. My objective is to get maybe, if at all possible, four blaze rods. I want to get a brewing stand. That is my next objective. My next major objective is to get the brewing stand. And um, what else do I want in addition to that? Lanterns. Yeah, yeah. I could. Uh, that's kind of a small thing that I can work on here. Well, I've got a little bit of a surplus of iron is I can do some lanterns up here. Let's see what that takes to make a lantern. Let's grab my iron. I think it was, was it a torch and a piece of iron? Hmm. How do you make a lantern? Let's find out. Is it... That is a good question. I've never crafted one, and I would like to, if I knew how. There it is. Oh, you need iron ingots. Okay. Well, that's not hard. Okay. Yeah, let's just do that. There we go. And that should unlock the lantern right there. Okay, how many of these do I want to make? Let's make... Let's make four of them here. I'm going to have a surplus of ingots, but eventually it'll even out. Let's just make them all like this right here. Okay, there's four lanterns. Let's go ahead and place those. Let's go upstairs for, with these. Meanwhile, I can put some more stakes on the fire. I really like this. This is cool. Yeah, up here. I don't have any lighting up here, so let's kind of hang a lantern up here. That's pretty cool. Hang a lantern here and somewhere in the center, which I think the center is right here, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, I was right. Okay, cool. And that should be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. Very neat. Got some lanterns hanging up in here. That's a that's a different looking thing. I mean, I'm used to torches in glowstone and sea lanterns. So it's kind of neat to see a different light block. I kind of like it. All right. And I'll add some more later. But let's go ahead and get some more. This is working out really well. I know I'm just kind of like, oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. But it really is cool. Ooh, that reminds me. Hmm, that'd be cool to have like a lantern or two hanging under here, but it's too low. But that's that, that was a cool thought. Okay, um, getting distracted here. Bookshelves. Let's go ahead and make some bookshelves really quick. And those are books. I can make five more. Okay, cool. Let's get some wood. I think that'll be enough. I might need more. Yes, I'll need more wood. That's not wood. I might need more than that. Nope, that got it. Cool. Okay, let's swap that out. Place some more bookshelves here. Okay, and then I'm going to come this way. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so there's eleven. And then I'll do twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, yeah, okay, this is going to work out just fine. Perfect. And so we should be getting some slightly higher sharpness three. That's a good that's a good enchantment right there. Looting one. Ooh, I like looting and smite one. Cool. Let's see what would a pickaxe be getting right about now. Unbreaking three. Now that is a cheap unbreaking three. You know, 
How many levels did that require? 22. Ooh, I can do that. You know what? That diamond pickaxe. We can enchant that. There. Let's enchant that diamond pickaxe. Or, you know, let's check out what the uh, crossbow has, too. Lapis Lazuli. Which is going to be right there. I think that's exactly how much I need. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's enchant something really quick. Having that pickaxe enchanted would be really nice. Uh, and breaking three is real. Oh, the armor tool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just all over the place here. Piercing three. That's a good one. Quick charge. That's another good one that we need to keep in mind there. Okay, cool. Armor. Let's see what... Like a chest plate would have. If I could get fire protection, that's protection three. Fire protection would be really handy, especially since I'm going up against, um... What are those guys? Blazes. I don't know what's going on with me today. <laughs> My brain is just not wanting to think. Okay, I'm not seeing any fire protection, but of course, whenever I enchant something, something these are all likely going to change. They may. There's fire protection one. I don't want something that low. I want three or more. Okay, wow. What should I enchant? Sharpness is going to do more damage, which I think is probably going to be the best thing for me right now. Let's do some damage. Enchanter advancement made. Cool. Oh, we got Unbreaking 2. Awesome. Excellent. Unbreaking 3. Again, it's right there. It's just right in front of me. I want that. Okay, projectile protection. I'm not really big on projectile protection. It's good against skeletons, but not much. There's fire protection 2. Not really big on that. Uh, projectile protection 4. Now, that is actually pretty cheap for a protection 4 class. Okay. <clears throat> fire protection 2 okay well I need to be level 22 for that that's not going to be hard okay well I have an enchanted sword that's pretty cool alright it's going to do more damage so I can live with that I like to do more damage Especially since we're going up against something like uh, those blazes. You know, a good thing to put right there would be a chest. I might consider that. It's out of the way, and it's something that's needed. All right, one, two, three, four. That's pretty cool. I like that little setup there. Look at that. I'm getting a lot of steak. That's cool. Okay, let's put away some of this stuff, and let's get ready to go to the nether. This could be another total disaster, but you know what? I need to get going. I want to move forward, and I want to move fast, and sometimes that means taking a little bit of a risk. All right, I have arrows. I don't have many, so I'm going to have to be very careful with how I use those. So you know what? I might put those down here. Let's go ahead. I don't need a shovel in the nether. I don't need multiple pickaxes in the nether. Let's go ahead and leave that one there to save it. I might just go ahead and bring... I could probably get rid of that. I don't need that. I'm not going to use that in the nether. Let's put this down here. Yeah, let's bring this just in case I want to mine some glowstone. If I run across some easily accessible glowstone, I might go ahead and I will not need an axe in the nether. Okay, I think that's good right there. Uh, where is my flint and steel? Let's do that. Okay. Let's go put these last steaks on the fire for cooking. All right, and I'm good on food. I have 23 steaks here and 9 mutton. That's good. I've got some torches, which I really don't need those in the nether, but they're there. 
I have my sword. I have armor. What else am I going to need for taking on blazes? Quick reflexes. But you can't craft those. <laughs> ah, gold. There we go. That'll give me some experience. Gets me much closer to level 22. Now I can get unbreaking on my pickaxe. And what am I going to do with these diamonds? We shall see. You know, it's also possible that I could use those. Okay, those are done. All right. I could use those diamonds to craft another sword. And you know, I've got that sharpness. I could probably get another sharpness three and then combine them and get sharpness four. That's something to uh, consider here. Why am I going this way? Don't ask. <laughs> okay. Here we go. After I check this. Man, I am not getting any luck with these baby chickens. That has to be bug. <laughs> oh, well. I want to go get some chickens from that taiga. Some more. That way I can start a chicken farm. And I could use one of those and bring it into there. So that's not that big a deal. There are plenty of chickens easily accessible in that taiga. So I'll, I'll probably just take care of it that way. Why is it raining in the nether? Okay. That was weird. It was raining in the nether. That ghast is still around here. But little does he know... I can defend myself. All right. Locked and loaded. If he's going to float away... You know what? Let's shoot this thing. Let's see if I can get him... Missed. <laughs> Old Betsy. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Got that advancement. Okay, let's just move on from that. And uh, if he pursues me, then I'll... I'll take them on. Okay, torches, so that I can easily spot my way back, which I'm actually not going very far here. I just need to get into that structure there. So what I like to do when I'm in the nether is I like to place torches down. They eventually will probably get blown up by something else, like a ghast or something. But it looks like I'm going to have relatively easy access into this fortress, which is good. I may not have to do any tunneling or any crazy platforming or anything like that. It looks like I should be able to just kind of walk over here and go up this ledge here and just go right onto one of these. Uh... And here we are, our first blazes. All right. Shoot that one. Whoa, run, 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 run. I don't have fire protection, so... I'm going to have to be really careful here. And then they're going to rise up here. I don't see any easy, really easy way I'm going to have to mine. I'm running out of arrows, so what I think I want to do is go ahead and climb up here is not wise because yeah there's that need to eat ah they're getting me okay I gotta get out of here ooh that was close okay I need to get in here so I can get these guys don't get hit I need more arrows. That's what I need. I could easily take these guys out if I had a few more arrows. Woo! Dodgeball. <laughs> it's like deadly dodgeball. Okay, how do I get in here? Is 
Looks like, oh, okay, let's try to get up there. See if I can get a better vantage point here. Maybe I can just come over here and come and drop down. Here we go. Now this is the way in. Okay. Let's get this. I'm just going to have to figure out how to get down here. These guys are not going to let it go. Okay, I don't want to anger this guy right now. Later on, maybe I don't. I won't mind so much. Okay. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of other. There was a magma cube hopping around over here. Okay. Oh, I got hit. Okay. Maybe I can just try this. Every little bit counts here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. I got one blaze rod. <laughs> Wow, that was a lot of work. For, oh, weather skeletons. I do not. I, I don't want to fight those guys right now, because they duck down here. Is there? I thought there was a third blaze. Maybe not. There's a big magma cube down here. Okay. Um. Okay. Although this guy could give me arrows. Let's see, um, where did that wither? Where'd that wither skeleton go? Okay. Draw this, see if I could draw this, whoa, no, 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 no. That was a weird scream. <laughs> that was haunting. Got him. And with that, my last arrow. Okay. To bet you couldn't pick up arrows at skeleton shot. That would be kind of cool. Ooh. With a skeleton. Oh, he's going to chase me. I have an idea for this guy. Let's eat. I have an idea for this guy. And I got another arrow. Okay. This is not wise. Okay. Got him. Cool. That'd be so funny if he dropped a head. Of course he wouldn't. <laughs> okay, so ooh, here's some more blazes up here. And they are already... On the attack. Get past that lava. Got hit. Okay, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him before he gets back. Now run. <laughs> ah! Is that a blaze spawner right there? Yep, run away. That's something to consider here. I might could make use of that. Okay, yeah. I'm surrounded. <laughs> I have got to pay close attention here. Okay. Okay, I got to get out of here. Okay, now. I'm not leaving without another blaze rod. <laughs> I want another. I would like a lot of them, but that's cool to know that I have that blaze spawner 
over there because I could always come back and farm them whenever I'm a little bit more. When I have fire protection, if I have, if I had fire protection on all on like at least two pieces of my armor, and then protection four on the rest, on the other two pieces, I would be far more willing to stick around and you know fight with these guys as they uh, are generated. But as it stands, I might have to turn around and just go with the one that I have here. Because he's not leaving that lava. Okay, let's see if I can plug that really quick. Not good. Not good. Okay, get out of here. Hey. Oh my goodness. That was too close. <laughs> I'm down to one heart. And then there's a ghast. Whoa, I got nervous there. Okay, yeah, this fire is it's hurting a little too much. I think I'm just gonna have to come back. I got the blaze rod. So I can make a brewing stand, if anything. Now I gotta watch out for this ghast. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out of here and go back to the house. Because I think I am satisfied so far with the progress. I wanted a little bit more progress, but the progress I got is fine for now. Let me go ahead and mark this with a torch and mark that with a torch. And then come down here and mark that with a torch right there. Now I will know where to go the next time I come down here. Let's go ahead and block this off really quick. There. There's the gas. Let's run. Okay, there we go. Place some torches here to remind me where to go. Now let's get out of here. You know what? Experience. This block right here, when you mine it, is one of the best sources of experience. It's not wise to do this when there's a gas flying around. But you know, sometimes you throw caution into the wind and you go for something. <laughs> now don't go do something crazy and then say, Hey, well, that guy on YouTube told me to throw caution into the wind. Not what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, now, let's go. There's plenty more where that came from. Like right here. And we'll get ourselves some nether quartz out of the way. We can make some quartz blocks and do something with it. I don't know what. And I'm not going to hold on to this nether rack. I'll just do that. Let's go in here. Eat. We survived. <laughs> or I survived. Wow. That was... That was stressful. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I don't like those guys running around. But that's why I made the uh, portal far down. That way he'll despawn as I go far enough away. No big deal. Okay. Let's see. No egg. I don't, didn't think you would. Let's put some of this stuff away, and I need some cobblestone. Let's make a brewing stand while we're at it. There we go. Excellent. Okay, let's put some of this nether quartz up. I have no idea where I'm going to put it. I'll just stick it here for right now. What am I going to make the base of this brewing stand out of? I have 
I mean, polished andesite is probably going to work. You know what? I don't have any diorite in my bill. Let's make a polished diorite base for the brewing stand. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and put the crossbow up. And put that up. Put the bones away. Put that up. Okay. I think it's good for now. I'm going to put the brewing stand right here, like so. There we go. And I want to put a chest here for all the ingredients that I want for, you know, if I could get some fire resistance potions, that would be really cool. But I think everything you need is in the nether to do that. Again, all, every, all the good stuff's in the nether. <laughs> Unfortunately, okay. Let's make a couple of chests here. Two should be fine. I don't want those there. Okay, now... I'll replace my torches here. Yeah, that are kind of randomly placed, but oh well. All right. Let's add storage. And storage. Awesome. There we go. Okay, cool. Now, uh, what else do I have on my list to take care of? I got the brewing stand. We've expanded some on the enchanting setup. Uh, crafted the crossbow. So the only thing left is to collect arrows and to get some chickens. And you know what? One of those is over there. There was a cow over there at one time, so I wonder if chickens should eventually show up over here. Now that would be really cool. I don't think I want to go to the taiga this episode. It's kind of far off, and I am getting close to the one hour mark. So I want to come over here and try to get that spider that's slightly on the right side of the screen. Look at all those creepers and skeletons. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, see, that's what happens. They're, they're right on the edge of that. There's those arrows again. They're right on the edge of that spawn, that, uh, spawn distance. So that's probably why there's so many here. But I think they're spread out enough here. Hopefully that spider won't go away. Okay, hopefully that spider won't go away. And I can uh, a shield. I was going to craft a shield. That will probably be... Yeah, I need to get that done too. Got a bow. Awesome. It's used, but you can combine them with uh, another bow and kind of increase the durability. Okay. Health is good. So I don't have to worry about that so much. Let's just get these guys. And this is going to... Hey, I'm already at level 23, so I can enchant something else. There. Skeleton's going to help me out here. I like it when I get assistance. Look at that zombie. He's wearing armor. <laughs> He's like, check out my gear. I thought I heard a skeleton over here. Okay, let me run over here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are the guy that I want right now. I don't think you dropped any string. This is causing... Those arrows are causing problems. I think that's the problem. This is causing this slight frame rate issue here. Okay... I gotta watch out behind me here. There's a creeper. I'm a well I'm aware of that. Okay. He doesn't see me. Alright. Pushing through. Pushing through. Yeah, I want a more open area for this battle. I 
I did not get string from that spider, unfortunately. Mm. But I it looks like I can combine two bows and have some really good durability there. While I'm waiting for that creeper to come a little bit further away from the skeletons. Let's go ahead and eat. A lot of combat in this episode. See, I might head back to the house here in a little bit and uh, combine these bows. Okay, let's just get these guys. Okay, let's get this spider over here. Doing okay on health. String, yes. There's another spider up here. Let me go ahead and eat. You. Come here. I think he dropped an... Yeah, so I got some more arrows. Cool. If that spider is still over here in this cave, I am definitely going to take him out. All right. Definitely getting less rusty on the combat. Run, 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 run. He blew up. Okay, well. Free blocks. <laughs> Take care of this gun. I'm going to go check and see if that spider is still up here. Okay. Got some good experience. Got five arrows. I got some bows. So cool. My sword is... Yeah, that spider is still here. Come on. Come up here. This guy can just go away. All right, yeah, you're fast. Whoa. Don't get backed up into the hole there. Give me some string. Well, I got enough string to craft a, uh, a fishing rod. I mean, I think that, that will that'll be good enough. Okay, this is... Take care of this guy. He's not going to be hard. And there's a skeleton down here, too. There we go. I heard a skeleton over here on the other side of the island. He may have dropped arrows or ducked into a tree. Or under a tree, sorry. All right, let's wrap up the session here. I see a creeper. He may have gone under a tree here. I still hear him, yeah, so he probably went under a tree. And there aren't any lingering spiders. There is a lingering spider. Okay, so since he is going to be passive... I can catch him off guard. Excellent. String, two string. Oh, an enchanted bow. Power one and unbreaking one. That's pretty cool. I might just use up that one as my uh, first bow. I was not expecting that kind of gift from a, from a fallen skeleton there. Okay, there he is. And there he is. Let's get this guy to come after me here. Okay. So I could take care of him. There we go. Excellent. We have liberated this island. And I have walked away with seven arrows and two string and an enchanted bow. Wow, we got some good enchanted gear. That's pretty cool. And I can go take these to a crafting bench, combine them and uh, get one bow with better durability. Let's go take care of that, and I think that's going to be right at the end of this episode. Good timing. Now, I rode my boat over here to get out of the way of all the monsters.
if those arrows are still there after this episode, I think I'm going to go report that as a bug because they shouldn't be doing that. They should have gone away, especially whenever I went into the nether or went further away. So that's what happens whenever you play with the snapshots. You sometimes get some odd bugs. Like if you remember a couple episodes, we got that odd bug where uh, the uh, the camera didn't follow the player's face. It was kind of comical. All right, crafting bench right here. Let's combine these two to get to get you. Can you not do that anymore? Huh. Interesting. You used to be able to put two bows on a crafting table. You know what? I bet they took that functionality of here and put that in the fletching, fletchery table or something like that. Anyhow, fishing rod. I bet that's what that happens. I might need to look up to see if I can make a fletcher's table. Now, how do you do that? As a cartography table. Let's see if I can find that in this list really quick. If I remember, it's kind of a light colored block. There's the loom. Right there, fletching table. I need two flint and a look. Okay. I know I keep saying I'm going to do this, do that, and be done, but I have two flint. You need, what, four wood? Four wood. This might be something that I need. Where am I going to put this? Let's go up here. Let's put it out here in the workshop. The perfect place to put it is in the workshop. There. <laughs> There's no functionality. I can't do anything with it. Mo Yang. <laughs> I wasted resources on this. Oh well. If they ever get some functionality to that, I'm sure that's probably what that's for is to combine the bows and repair them and whatnot. Well. Bummer. But I got this bow. Got an enchanted bow. That's pretty cool. That's a good little, good little uh, free, free bow there, and the durability is not bad either. So cool. I'm I'm pleased with that. I didn't get to go get the chickens, but that's okay. I can do that in another episode, or yeah, I I could do that in another episode. No big deal. But um, as with previously, you could probably expect me to do some more mining and fishing off camera. That way I can take care of all of that stuff and you, know, you don't have to watch me do that because I know that's not the most entertaining thing to do is to watch someone dig in Minecraft or fish for that matter. But on that note, thank you very much for watching and if you liked or enjoyed this video, please don't forget, go ahead and tap or click that like button. It takes very little time, very little effort, and it means a lot to this channel. It means more to this channel than, well, anything. <laughs> it's all I got is likes and subscribes. <laughs> and again, if if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, and uh, you'll uh, you'll be notified whenever I do new and cool things like this. See that sword? If you subscribe, you'll see more. <laughs> <laughs> if that's not if it's not a, a a real reason to subscribe i don't know what it is but anyhow thank you very much for watching and i hope you have yourself a wonderful day goodbye <laughs>